guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com. In this tutorial, we will talk about the change data capture event. Now, what is this change data capture event? This is also a way to sync two systems like Salesforce and an external system. And what we do in this case is we set up a change data capture for a specific object, or we can even do it for more than one object. So for example, if we set up a change data capture for account object, then anytime you make a change to an account record, no matter what field of that account record, a change data capture or an event or a notification will be sent to that external system who is subscribed to this change data capture event. So a CDC event or a change event is a notification which Salesforce will send whenever a change is made at say on a Salesforce record due to a creation of that record or update or delete or undelete operation. So whenever this happens, a notification will be sent if you have created a change data capture event. If you remember in the case of push topic, we do set up a field called push topic dot query and inside of that query, we select which fields are we interested in to monitor. In the case of the change data capture, all the fields will become part of the criteria. So you don't have the option of selecting a specific field. So if you have created a change data capture for account object, then no matter which fields you have changed on that account record, it will send the notification. But in the case of push topic, what happens is if you have only selected the ID and the name in the query, then if the changes happen specifically to these two fields, then only the notification will be sent. But this doesn't happen in the case of change data capture event. All the fields automatically will become part of the change data capture event. Similarly, you select another, let's say you select a change data capture for student object, then what happens is no matter what field on the student records you change, it will send a notification to the external system, whichever are subscribed to this change data capture event. Now, how does an external application will subscribe to a change data capture event? So in order for them to subscribe, you have to use something like slash data. Now, if you remember when we talked about push topics, how did the external application subscribed? So in order for the external application to subscribe to a push topic, they used slash topic slash the name of the push topic. So that was the name of the push topic. Similarly, if there was a platform event that you created and you wanted to, the external application wanted to subscribe, they had to say slash event and then the name of that platform event. Similarly, when you have to subscribe to a change data capture event from an external system, then you will say slash data. And then if you're subscribing to a custom object change data capture, then you will say, let's say you are subscribed, want to subscribe to student, then you will say student. Instead of saying underscore underscore C, you will say underscore underscore change event. So you can see here, it'll be slash data, custom object name, and then underscore underscore C. They have given example if you're using a custom object like employee underscore underscore C. So this C part will be removed. So it will be employee underscore underscore. It will become change event. But if you wanted to subscribe to a standard object change event, then you will say slash data and then the standard object name. There is no underscore here. It's just the change event. So you'll say slash data slash account change event. So this is how you subscribe. Similarly, if you wanted to subscribe to a opportunity change event, then you will say slash data slash opportunity change event. But if it was a custom object, then it will become, let's say school underscore underscore C, it will become school underscore underscore change event and it'll be data slash school underscore underscore change event. So this is how you subscribe to the change data capture event. And in the case of change data capture event, you select which object you wanted to capture the changes for. So what we're going to do here is in the next tutorial, we will actually change, we'll actually go ahead and set up a change data capture for 
a school object and then the external application will subscribe to this change data capture and then whenever you make a change onto the school record a notification will be sent to our external application so we will see how do we do all this in the next tutorial so i will see you then thank you